as you can see, what you can't see, we're actually located in, in Mid Street in a place called Cinema. And I'm with the legend himself to the right. I'm getting away from so hi. No, it's not about nothing. I'm with the legend himself, Chubb enough. Oh, that's nice of you. Everyone says that because I'm old. No, <laughs> no. Chipmunk's a legend and he's really young. He's a legend. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So Thank you, sir. I, I consider myself a legend in certain areas, but not. Yeah, I hate you. Or I areas. hate you. Yeah. We're, we're here discussing uh, the Hackney weekend that's going to be a magnificent yeah. event. Also, which is involved is uh, the Academy. So, what's your involvement within the Academy and give us a bit of a. To be time. honest, um, you're involved in the Academy as well. I right? just want to put it out there. Um, Graham Daly obviously involved as well. Basically, I'm from Hackney. Okay. Uh, born and bred, and you know, 15, 16, 17, just like most kids, I don't think anything's changed in terms of how you feel about where you're going in life. I didn't know what I was good at, I didn't know what I was going to do. No one ever came to visit us, as in to shine a light on us to say the possibilities are endless. So I remember going to my career advice, and it was the worst career advice I ever had. And he was like, he was just like, you know, I don't know, he was so negative. What he said to me that I just felt, you know, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't have ambition. I was scared, in fact, life scared me. You know, the only thing I loved was music. Okay. And through my passion in music, you know, I got where I am. We've got actors, we've got um, journalists, we've got, you know, movie makers, we've got um, musicians, all going to impart their experience, all from East London. And that's the key thing, all very passionate about doing this. We're going to talk to teenagers who might have an aspiration, but might be a little afraid to, to make it clear that yeah, they have 100%. that aspiration. Yeah, just to open up and, and show all the possibilities. It's gonna be really rewarding, you know, because, you know, from Adam Deacon to Plan B to Vianna Lewis, who are all East Londoners, she's really Lethal B. Yeah, she's lovely. But she's a proper hackney girl. Proper. Her dad had a stall in Ridley Road Market. You can't get more hackney than that. Yeah. She had, he had a stall in Ridley Road Market and she worked on it. So, you she's know. She's really like, she just comes because it's so nice and. She's real, mate. She's real. She's oh, real. She's really out she's real. She's she's real. Real. It's always awkward when you come back to your ends, right? Yeah, 100%. Because a lot of people have made it, but the vast majority don't make it. And you don't come back to glow, you don't come back to, you know, it's always, it's always, it's, it's never as comfortable as it should be because a lot of people look at you as now on the other side and it's not about that, it's about, you know, listen man, just go for it, stop, stop relying on, on a handout of any kind, don't yeah. stop waiting for something to happen, try and be proactive, try and, well, you don't have to want to be famous, that's not the key here mm -hmm. for me, the key here for me is, what, what possibilities do I have work-wise? What do I, you know, what should I broaden out my outlook on what I want to do rather than just saying I want to be one thing or another, you know? Let's have a look at the possibilities. That's, that's the truth, but I'm from, from the ends as well, not Hackney, but from the ends. So yeah, I understand that. What advice are you going to give? If you could give a bit of advice to one young person, what would it be? It would be simple. What are you passionate about? What, do you, what are you naturally, naturally passionate about? Don't lie to yourself. Who do you want to see at the Hackney Weekend of the most? Oh, man. Who do you Obviously, I'm looking forward to the most. There's, there's, there's Rihanna. Okay, um, but there's somebody I want to see that isn't, hasn't been announced yet. Oh, that's what I'm saying. But, so, but all I'm going to say is a legend of hip-hop that's never been announced, hasn't been announced on the lineup yet, yeah. is a legend of hip-hop. Every much... Every bit as much as Jay-Z, in my eyes. Wow. That's quite deep, right? So you go back to the era of Jay-Z when he had his debut album, Biggie had his debut album. I ain't gonna say any more names. What's your career advice to tell you? Because that's quite depressing. My career advice has told me some really wonderful things. My career advice didn't so say... Nice hair, didn't, nice. No, he didn't say anything like that. She must have been a she. Yeah. yeah she, you yeah. know how much that cost, what you just did there? Wow, what happened to that Oh, I'm just saying. Oh, okay, cool. Touch the head, boy. Now, my career advice was just on... I didn't, because I came with, I don't know what I want to do. Okay. You know, that was the worst thing you could say to your career advisor because they can't map out a career for you to be fair. Yeah, I know, and it was just like, he probably just thought, oh, he's another kid who's going to be on a doll. So he probably just said something. It was just basic, it was just misleading. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't take his advice. I would say to most young people, if you get a chance for a job, take it, even if it's not something you want to do. Because working, getting off that, getting off that treadmill of not working is, mm. is, you know, a lot of people say, well, there's certain jobs I wouldn't do, but I disagree. Sometimes I think you should just work, get a little independence, buying into money, and then pursuing what you want to do while you work, rather than just waiting for that thing. A lot of kids are, are walking the walk and talking the talk and not prepared to, to get dirty. Most of these people who are going to be talking, who are successful, did that at some point. They did it at some point. They grafted, man. They grafted for nothing. Or did stuff that they didn't really want to do. 
and you wouldn't, you wouldn't marry what they did then with what they are now. You wouldn't know Leona Lewis worked on a market store, would you? You wouldn't. You wouldn't know I worked in a greengrocer's, right, or a shoe shop. I worked Some, in a shoe shop. You wouldn't even know I was a paper boy. Pete Diddy was a paper boy. And that's my idol. And I will tell you something, right? The first time I interviewed Pete Diddy, I sat down and I thought the guy's going to... He was the youngest vice president of a record label, right? Mm. Of, the, of Uptown Records at the time. And when I interviewed him, I thought he's going to give me an insight into the world of you know, the record industry. I worked yeah. in the record industry at the time, but he was on another level. And you know what he said to me? I said, so what's the key moment in your career? And you know what he said? When I did a paper round. And I laughed and he said, no, 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 don't laugh. This is serious. When I did a paper round, <laughs> I did the best paper round in my whole area. I had boys working for me on the paper round. I had a group of guys doing paper rounds in the whole area. And we had the best paper round in where X, Y, Z, wherever it was. And he said, it wasn't a lot of money, but it ingrained something in me that I had drive determination I was getting up very early in the morning all these things and to, to this day the guy's still the same the paper round man who would have known that that's an insight did you know that Brian Bailey did you know that did you know that did you know did I tell you something you never knew P. Diddy's paper round is what inspired him to become the mogul he is today and that's how you learn that dance and then you, 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 you have the people you say take that and then that's how we got the whole team. <laughs>